Well, the Vatican held a discussion today on the distribution and effectiveness of coronavirus vaccines. The Holy See led a discussion on making sure the vaccines are being distributed to all nations, not just wealthy ones. Guests also discussed how to approach those who are reluctant to take the vaccine. The roundtable was led by a group including the Pontifical Academy for Life. Joining us now is Dr. Frank Montgomery, Chair of Council, World Medical Association, and one of the people who took part in the roundtable discussion today. Dr. Montgomery, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. Uh, can you tell us a little more about the discussions today, how it went, and what you hope will come from this event? Well, thank you very much for giving me the occasion to talk about this conference. Actually, we had planned the conference long before the corona crisis. In 2018, 2019, when we had measles outbreaks, uh, both in New York City, but also in many European cities, uh, we talked uh, to um, the, PEC, the Pontifical Academy in Rome and asked whether we shouldn't do a conference to enhance vaccination and to protect people, especially children, from measles and other diseases. And then reality overtook us, uh, and finally, uh, instead of a meeting in uh, the Vatican, we had to have a webinar uh, talking about uh, vaccination, about vaccination hesitancy, and about vaccination equity. And this is uh, what took place with the help of uh, the WHO, the World Health Organization, the Center for Disease Control, and uh, the European Center for Disease Control. It was a really interesting meeting on these issues, hesitancy and equity. And Dr. Montgomery, can you talk to us about, you know, what it means for the Vatican to be involved with this initiative? Well, actually, uh, vaccination is one of uh, the best invention which we ever had in medicine. It has saved billions of lives since uh, Edward Jenner introduced vaccination into modern medicine in 1796, that is 225 years ago. At the same time, we see today that uh, in some rich countries there is a lot of vaccination. For instance, in Corona, 80% uh, of the, the vaccine has been taken up by 10 countries alone. And uh, whereas we have vaccination rates uh, around the 60, 70 percent in some affluent countries, less than 1 percent of the population in Africa have been vaccinated. So we have a problem here that uh, also is addressed by the Catholic Church, by religious communities. How do we serve our communities? How do we supply vaccines to them? And how do we make it possible that the whole population of this world gets a fair chance for vaccination? Well, as we mentioned, Dr. Montgomery, you are the chair of the World Medical Association. Can you tell us, in your position, what you see are the main challenges that you've had to face during the pandemic? Well, one of the main challenges was, of course, that we couldn't hold our normal meetings. We were 120 national uh, medical organizations around the world, a little bit a UN of the United Nations of uh, Medicine. And uh, we couldn't meet. Um, so we had to devise uh, other uh, instruments uh, like webinars, etc. But our main problem is the difference uh, in, the, in, uh, in, in the affluency of countries. So we have very rich countries like the US or Germany, and we have very, very poor countries uh, in Africa. And we have to consolidate all uh, their, uh, their means and all their approaches. And a big problem for us was uh, really that uh, also a lot of uh, physicians and nurses, uh, healthcare personnel around the world succumbed to the disease, uh, and we had to build resources, uh, and we always had to make um, politicians and uh, public, uh, um, that we had to make them aware of the problem that uh, uh, the disease took a very heavy toll amongst uh, uh, healthcare personnel. Well, Dr. Montgomery, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Uh, we really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for giving me the chance.